Hey there, Brie Weisert here from thefeatherbrain.com. Today I'm answering a question from one of my blog readers, Jamie, about using sand in the run. So, hi Jamie. Uh, Jamie asks specifically, I live in a sandy area. Do you suggest added sand in the run or something else? And today is the perfect time for me to answer this question because my husband is building this chicken run for my new chicks who are ready to move out. And we just yesterday moved the sand into the run. So we had to get the sand delivered from a gravel company. But if you lived in an area that had sandy soil, would you need to get extra sand or could you just use the soil you already have? So the answer is maybe, but probably not. So let me explain that. You want the sand in your run to be pretty thick. So you want it at least a few inches, although I would recommend going with six inches to a foot or even more if that's what works for you. But the problem with three inches is that with runoff and, and chickens kicking it around, it might thin out too much. And if the layer of sand is too thin, then it's almost just like keeping your chickens on bare ground and there's no way to manage the poop. The benefit of having the thick layer of sand is that you can just scoop the poop out or rake it out or use whatever instruments you're using to clean your sand run. If it's really thin, there's just no way to get that poop out of your run easily. And so if your sandy soil has some good depth to it, then you could just leave it as is. And the second thing you need to consider is the grain size of the sand. So in a lot of sandy areas, I know that the sandy soil is very, very fine grained. It might even be like beach sand, and that's not good for your chickens. When it's really fine grained like that, it's usually made of a high percentage of quartz, also known as silica. Quartz is a mineral that's chemically inert, so no problem in most cases, but when it's really fine grained like that, you or your chickens can inhale it, and it actually lodges in the lungs and causes causes scarring and the disease is called silicosis and it's just a really horrible lung disease and it typically takes years for it to develop but it's not a good thing to experience and it's not a good way to go. So if your sand is fine grained and high in silica then I would still recommend getting some better sand delivered for your run. And so the sand I have here is a granitic sand. It's basically crushed granitic rock. And so it does have some quartz in it. Granite is quartz rich, but it also has a lot of feldspars. And it's medium to coarse grained. You want to always have your sand be medium to coarse grained because that way your chickens aren't able to inhale that quartz or sometimes other silicate minerals that can cause that scarring in the lungs. And you basically want the grain size to be just small enough that you can sieve it through a litter scooper. And so you'll see I have one little pebble that's stuck in there. But other than that, all of my sand went through. And you want that because uh, you want to be able to scoop the poop out. So you want to sieve your sand through and have the poop on top that you can just toss. So if you go to the gravel company and you bring your pooper scooper, then you can kind of test out the sands and get the largest grain size you can that will still sift through your pooper scooper and that's kind of my easiest way to go about it but if you look at my sand you will see that there are some fine grained particles still in there you really can't get completely away from that but you do want to buy sand that has been washed so ask your gravel company if it's been washed and washing is this uh, process that these construction companies put the sand through where they spray massive amounts of water on them while they're doing while they're in these giant sieves and so that washes a lot of those fines out of your sand a lot of those particles that cause that lung disease so you want medium to coarse grain sand you want it washed and you want to stay away from sands that are completely quartz if you can so stay away from quartzite sa sands if possible granitic sands are good and you can even use limestone sands if you have laying hens be careful using chicks on limestone sands you don't want them to eat too much of it because it's too much calcium for them but it's great for laying hens so those are the kind of the three variables you need to keep in mind and if your sandy soil in your yard meets those criteria then wonderful use that otherwise look for a better source all right jamie i hope that has answered your question before i go if you are brand new to chickens be sure to check out my who is your chicken soulmate quiz it will help you find the perfect chicken breed for your needs your climate your setup all of those things so i will link to that in the description below until next time